Hi, this is Annette Sullivan from Lavender Thoughts. Today I'm going to show you a few more cards, how to make a few more of the cards from this Soft Sayings card kit that I showed you um, the other day. So last time we made this card and this one. So I'll just open the instructions. So these were the two that we made last week, and you can see I don't think I showed you that we have matching. They have matching envelopes, so we've made that one, and we've made that one. Okay. So now we're going to start with this one down here. I'll just put that there. So I've got all the pieces out for it. We've got our card base, card base, which we're going to fold and get a nice crisp edge with our bone folder. And then we've got the sentiment piece, the flower, the two leaves and the baker's twine and we'll do our washi tape. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to stamp our images. So I'm happy you're in my life. And again, you don't need to use the sentiments that are in the instructions because most of the sentiments will fit on most of these cards. So we'll get our little ink spot. And as usual, I like to test it out on my scrap paper first. Okay. And it's going to go about there. cleaner here to clean these stamps up in between. And then as you can see there's a flower we're going to stamp on the card. So it's always a good idea to put these straight back on the sheet when you're finished because they're very sticky and you'll find that they'll stick to just about anything. I've often found mine on the bottom of the trimmer paper trimmer. So, okay, so here's our flower and we might just get that one inked up. And our card is going to sit like that. So if we actually turn that over to the back and put it where we're going to put it. And we can stamp on our cardstock there. Okay. Now that lines it up. It doesn't matter that it's on the back of this because you're not going to see it when we've got it on the card. So there we've got part of the flower. So one was to do the stamping, two is to put the washi tape on. So I'll get a piece of washi tape and it's probably going to be about the same length as this. And that's going to go right at the top of the card towards the right maybe. Okay. And then number three is to put those little leaves on with glue dots. So we get our glue dots. And again, we're just going to roll them up. And we only need a couple. So we're just going to roll it up, pop that on the back of there. 
and one on the other end and we'll sit that that there The other loaf. And we'll pop that one oh, just about there, I think. Looks like a good place for it. Okay. So now we're going to put this gold one on the card. So again, we'll get a few more glue dots. These glue dots are brilliant. They stick to just about anything. As you can see, they're sticking quite well to my finger here. Um, once you've stuck down with them, you probably don't need anything else. So I'll we'll put one on that bit there. And that's going to sit well, I think about there looks good now if you've got a little bit of your glue dot sticking out let's get something fine I've just got a pair of tweezers here and you can just push that under the shape and that's all done so that's three we've added those pieces with the glue dots. Four, we are going to use, pop up this piece with our Stampin' Dimensionals. So we'll just peel the backing off them. And they stick very well too, so just be careful about if you drop that one. So we'll pop that there so that it matches the edge of the flower we stamped earlier. Okay, and the last thing, number six, is to get a 12 inch piece of the baker's twine, which I've already cut, and tie it into a bow. Just get it in half. I've got our bow there and again another little glue dot and I'll just sit that rolled up on the card there and then we can attach the card. Okay, so there's our finished card and the matching envelope to go with it. Okay, so the next one on our sheet is this little, this little one up here. So it's one of the smaller note cards. So for it, we needed our card, our sentiment panel, and two of these leaves. Okay, so number one, stamp the sentiment. So this time we're going to use Happy Birthday. Let's clean that flower off. Test it out here. It's going to go towards the point there. So I'll we'll just put that about there. 
Okay. So I missed part of that. I probably should have used my stamp magic, but because we have our excuse my head for a minute. Okay. So then we're going to put our leaves on. Just sit in here. So again, let's use our glue dots. Put one on the top leaf. And one a bit further down. Out here. And I'll just pop that like so. And our other one. Just twist that across there a little bit. And we'll get a piece of washi tape. Just pop it across there. And then we can put that on the card. And we can use dimensionals or glue. Take our pick because they haven't given us any instructions. I think we might just sit this one flat. So we'll use our multi-purpose liquid glue. And again, a little bit of this goes a long way. Make sure we've got our card up the right way. And we'll just pop that there. So now we have another card done with its envelope. Okay, the next one we're going to do is this little note card here. So here's our note card. So these are three inch squares, these ones. So they're nice and small, you can just pop in with something. Okay. And we're going to stamp the flower and some words. So get that. Get that flower look. So again, if we put this upside down, about where we want to put it, and we can have the card going that way, or we can have it going sideways. So the way that pink is, I think I might do it this way. So I've got that upside down, about there. And a little stamp one of our flowers there. And put the other one down this way. Okay, so you can see I've made one dark and one light, and that's fine because you can get different looks by doing things like that. And now we just want the words to put on our sentiment panel. Let's pop 
it in the middle there. And now we're ready to put it together. So this time we've got some of the small green leaves. One of my green leaves has gone missing. So I'll just quickly grab one from the kit here. Let's pop this one out. And by the look of it, I might not have even pulled it out looking at that. Okay. So again, we're get getting our glue dots. that top wave. And pop it on our card. Bring it like that. And one to one of our leaves. Can go like that. Now you see I've only put them on the top of these and these pieces are going to be hidden behind the sentiment panel so they're going to be stuck down with the washi tape anyway so they're not going to move. Okay, well I did find that other, other leaf. Always happens doesn't it? You think you've lost it so I'll put that other one back in the packet for next time because you remember there are 20 cards in this pack uh, to each of 10 designs. So we made two in the original video when I took you on a walkthrough of what's in the pack. And we'll, this is our third one today. We'll do four and then we'll do another, the last four in another video. Okay, so I'll pop that one out there. Put our little green leaf heading up there. And then we've got a piece of washi tape, which we want to be just bigger than the middle of our note. Pop that across the centre there. And we'll get some dimensionals again for the back. And then just pop that. About there. Now if you actually have a look at the design and have a look at mine, I've used a big flower and there is also a small flower which possibly is what they've used there. So again, you can vary it however you want. And here's the little envelope for this one. Very cute. Alright, one more today. And this is this one down here. I'll just put that leaf back in the box before I lose it. Alright, first thing to fold our card in half. Now they're all pre-scored so it's easy to do them. So this will, the first thing we're going to do is some stamping. couldn't find the leaf. Okay. Now 
again. I'll just pop that across the middle. Get my trusty piercing mat. Now the reason I'm using the piercing mat is because we're using photopolymer stamps and photopolymer stamps don't have any cushioning behind them like the rubber stamps. So the piercing mat just gives that bit of cushioning okay, for when you're stamping. So I want that just to pop out the top there. Pop out the bottom there. Okay. So now this time, oh, I'll put some words on here. Let me use this time. I think you are wonderful. Test that out. Okay. So now come back. Our green leaves on. I'll put two on this time because he's not the end, it's not going to be covered with washi tape. Now anybody can make these cards. Um, and as a good example, I actually had my brother in law making one this afternoon, and it was this particular one that he made. Um, and he's going to give that to his mother. He's never done any stamping before. My sister and I have been trying to get him to do some for quite some time. And he always says no. He always has some excellent ideas for when we say to him, oh, does this look good or should we do this? Or So he's very good at, at helping out on the design, but this is the first time he's actually got his, got inky with it. And he was quite surprised, I think, at how easy and simple it was. And in fact, he's actually asked me if I will get him a kit. So when he needs cards for his wife or mother or anybody, he can make one up quickly and he's got them there. At the moment, what he does is he goes to my sister's stash and takes cards out of there. So she, th she thinks it's probably great that he will be making up his own cards so she'll get something that she didn't make as a card for herself. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, that all sorts of people can make these cards. Okay, now the washi tape actually goes down before that one, down the bottom there. So we'll just get a piece. And pop that out there. And put that green leaf on. Yeah, so don't let anyone ever tell you they I'm not creative, I can't stamp. With these wonderful kits, anybody can follow the simple instructions and pop them together. Once they see how much fun it is, I'll probably want to start doing more. It's always good to have a creative outlet. Helps you to relax. Okay. So I'll just pop that on there. Get some dimensionals for our sentiment. And pop that on there.
And we have another card. And it's on below. So there's four more cards from the Soft Sayings card kit. Um, just to show you how easy they are to make. So I'll go back. So we've made those two. And this one. And this one. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.